Hi, I'm Elizabeth Mack with the Tallahassee Democrat and you're watching Limelight Live. This week we are at the Publix Aprons Cooking School. Joining me is Serena Moyle, our site manager for MomsLikeMe.com and also Jason Klobe, the resident chef here. Um, there's little different ways to entertain. Entertainment comes in different forms and so this week I thought we would check out some of the new things going on and you know the Publix hasn't been open for that long it opened up like wouldn't say that November 11th weekend. yeah mm -hmm. and so can you tell us some of the things that's been going on here at the cooking school and how that can be fun and entertaining we've done a lot of interesting things um, over the last several weeks we've been working with Serena and moms like me um, yes. doing our moms okay. like me Mondays where we have brought in different partnerships uh, either with United Way Big Bend uh, we brought in the Junior League of Tallahassee uh, as well as um, the TMH. TMH. Mm -hmm. Yes, they were and, here yesterday. Yeah, and we've done some great partnerships with them where we would do like little cooking demos and they would have uh, uh, other affiliates and uh, explaining programs offered by the different organizations and uh, just a whole lot of fun. <laughs> we had a great time. A whole time. lot of fun. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. So, um, tell so. me what, what kind of things, um, how does the cooking school actually work if you take classes? Well, the way we operate is we offer two different styles of classes. Uh, we offer a hands-on class and a demonstration class. With the hands-on class, basically what we do is we bring in 12 students um, into our hands-on kitchen, which is located opposite this one, and uh, we actually teach them all these skills and techniques necessary for actually producing that night's menu. Mm -hmm. At which point in time, we actually let them produce the menu, and when they're all done, we break out a little wine, sometimes some beer, and lay out all the food buffet style. We let them enjoy the meal. That sounds good. Okay. Yeah, a lot That's of fun. That's an for take home, maybe? <laughs> oh, we always offer the ability to take home any right. leftovers that are available. Um, and then with the demonstration class, this is more of kind of a nice evening out for a couple or friends or a uh, group of coworkers. And uh, basically what we do there is we, the chefs, or sometimes a guest chef, will demonstrate a multi-course meal, uh, generally about four or five. And during that point in time, while one recipe is being demonstrated, uh, the remaining chefs in this school will operate the TV monitors that are throughout our kitchen here. Uh, we have three different cameras. One we can actually zoom work to where here. we yeah. pan, <laughs> tilt, and zoom it. And uh, we can actually get real tight and close in on the action to a point where you could actually count individual grains of rice in a pot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, our camera system is that nice. Um, and so, uh, while with, if they're not operating the camera, they're plating and serving that course to each of the customers that are there that night, along with an appropriate adult beverage, i.e. wine or beer. Okay. You know, I'm bringing my 17-year-old um, next week when we come to that class. Is to the holiday <laughs> dinner party. <laughs> yeah. The, I know. Wow, the holiday dinner party. Tell us more about that. Well, that one is a demonstration style class. Uh, it, was a, it was a BOGO offering that we have. It's kind of a new thing that we're doing within Publix where we have uh, one class that we offer every calendar uh, where you can get two for the price of one. Okay. BOGO. Um, yes, exactly. And um, so this time around the theme was holiday dinner party. And we have a wonderful little menu for that. Uh, that starts off with a chilled smoked salmon dish uh, with a spicy remoulade sauce. Yeah, that uh, sounds really good. Uh, that rolls into <laughs> a that <laughs> pumpkin <laughs> soup, uh, which is really good. Uh, and actually, since pumpkins are out of season, we had to substitute and actually go with a butternut squash. Which is always Which so is good. just as good. Just Nothing delicious. wrong with that. Yes. Um, and then, of course, the entree for that evening is a wonderful standing uh, rib roast that we serve with a horseradish sauce, which is, uh, yeah. the traditional French name for it is called a chantilly, which is really just a uh, whipped cream with horseradish in it. Uh, and then it's also being served with a saffron infused mac and cheese. Now that yeah. about wetting your chops, like I'm hungry, I don't yeah. know about all of you. <laughs> well, I'll and tell then you uh, <laughs> to top the entire evening off, we finish it off with a lovely Yule log. Oh. Yeah, I've always wanted to make one of those. So it's actually not that hard. It's pretty Good. easy, and uh, we we will teach you all about how to form your Yule log that night. Good. Well, then so. we'll go home and practice. There you go. <laughs> but Serena, you've been spending a lot of time here. Tell me how you've enjoyed yourself. Here. You know, I um, have been privileged to be part of the, um, the opening of the new Publix, and it has been so much fun. Although spending every Monday in the grocery store is something <laughs> moms generally do Ooh, anyway. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> but we've had a good time uh, telling a lot of people about the cooking school and all the new features that um, this particular Publix has. So um, it's been great to get to know um, Chef Jason 
and um, we've certainly enjoyed um, our partnership together. So Most it's been definitely. good. And I've gotten a lot of my grocery shopping done without a problem. <laughs> <laughs> We do have some other events going on as usual throughout the week starting Thursday. There is a Fiddler on the Roof at the Civic Center that's at 7.30 p.m. You know, you can Classic bring out the story. Oh, love that. Yeah. Yeah. Love that. I'm looking forward to it. There's a, a celebration of whiskey um, at the Capital City Country Club for all you whiskey drinkers. You know, get your that's sip on with a little music. <laughs> Should be really festive. Um, Holiday Harmony, which is a Capital City... Chordsmen and Quartets at 7 p.m. at the Tallahassee Senior Center. Is that like barbershop? I, similar to that. I love barbershops. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> That's really fun. Uh, also, and then coming Friday is Christmas Spectacular. It's a holiday show in Monticello. So, you know, just a little short drive up I-10. You know, Probably at the Opera House. Yes, it is at the Opera House at 7.30. That and that's on Friday and Saturday. So if you can't go Friday, you also have Saturday another opportunity. The Crucible will be um, put on by the Sale High School students. Wow. Mm -hmm. And they're not charging anything, but they are asking for donations. So, you know, support our local um, extracurricular activities is always nice to do. Uh, it starts at 7 p.m., by the way. Uh, also, the 25th annual Almost Christmas concert will be at the warehouse at 8 p.m. <laughs> They are also asking that you bring non-perishable items for Echoes. You know, it's holiday season. You should help out and do other things for, for other people. But that's something you should do all the time. But, you know, I just want you to know that it's the holiday season. I want to make you feel bad if you're not doing anything. <laughs> also come Saturday, uh, Carabel out in Franklin County, they're doing a uh, Carabel boat parade and lights and holiday on the harbor and Serena you were telling me you knew something about boat parades. I do. I grew up in South Florida and just a couple blocks from the intercoastal and that's something that we did um, every year was something we look forward to was the annual boat parade. So <laughs> I am sure it's a little bit different than the yeah. Carabelle's boat parade but I am sure it is just as nice. It's so fun to see not only uh, well to see beautiful boats decorated with holiday lights. It's not the normal like, thing that you see. I always like the whole the waterfront scene. Oh, it's fun. I think a couple of weeks ago there was a palm tree lightings in Apalachicola and I was like, oh, who would see. love to see Christmas trees on palm trees? It just makes it fun. That's something we love to do here in Florida. Decorate our palm trees. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know what you forgot for Thursday and Friday was Victorian Christmas. Okay. Tell oh, us more about that. in Thomasville. If you ever get a chance to go up there, this Thursday and Friday is um, the Thomasville Victorian Christmas and it is like walking back in time. Uh, the All the residents are dressed up in holiday, you know, mm -hmm. turn of the century, not turn of the 20th century, 19th century. I mean, it is it is so neat to see. It's really fun. Um, I would definitely uh, check on that. And I found that here in the Moms Like Me publication that you can get out here at Publix. But there's all kinds of kids and family related events going on. Awesome. Are listed. Um, for you doggy lovers, if we have a lot of those in Tallahassee. We do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the 15th annual Santa Paws Walk. Santa Paws. P-A-W-S, walk at Lake Ella on Saturday from 9 to noon. There's a little contest, you know, dress up your doggy. It's always fun. I like to see the dogs in the little costumes. So cute. I, my youngest is already, he's begging me for a dog for really? Christmas. But <laughs> it's not happening. <laughs> but I know I feel so bad. Well, you know you're not getting the dog. <laughs> um, Havana, right up, if you take Monroe, it just keeps taking you right on out. Take Monroe to Havana. It's uh, they're having Havana's annual holiday parade and lawnmower contest. I've always been told that that's always a good time. Now that should be interesting. You know you're in the country when there's lawnmower <laughs> races involved. <laughs> I was gonna say it's in downtown Havana, which is a really nice, beautiful town. It is adorable. <laughs> There'll be Great food shopping. and crafts. It's from ten to five, you know. But I definitely suggest to check out the lawnmower contest because. That's creative fun right there. Figure if you oh, can't yeah. decorate Anybody? your boat, decorate your lawnmower. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. <laughs> um, also, in our downtown, in our downtown, we're having the 15th annual Just One More Invitational Arts Festival put on by the down, Tallahassee Downtown Improvement Authority. It's um, always fun. Yeah, normally they just have the downtown marketplace, but this time, you know, it's the last week. It's going to be really special. They're going to have it at Ponce de Leon Park and Blocks Bloxham Park as well. It's so that's, a, that's two big areas. Yeah, it's two mm -hmm. big areas, basically. And there's going to be book signings. Lots of vendors. Lots of vendors. That sounds like lots food, of fun. Yeah. music. You know, they're suggesting you bring out blankets just to listen to the music. Fun. It sounds like a lot of fun. Something else that I found interesting because I love music, um, the Tuba Christmas at the Market Square Pavilion. They'll be out there playing holiday music. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
<laughs> and then you have it'll be tuba and euphorias act euphoriums actually um oh, out there playing holiday music saturday from at 12 30 it's free you know that's another situation where you can bring your blanket maybe some hot chocolate or some coffee or some tea and you can't oh, forget no, the nutcracker you can't yes <laughs> can't forget the, the nutcracker <laughs> is at ruby diamond on saturday at 10 30 a.m and 8 p.m also you have to mention that and there's one more thing one more thing uh holy mother of god greek orthodox church is holding is hosting a mediterranean holiday dinner um you've all been to the greek food festival if you Yum. haven't been you need to go but if you missed it this is your time to get in on all the good greek food it's delicious i bet they have to go as yeah. well they probably usually do. do it didn't mention it when i was reading over the description but it's only 15 dollars. it's from 5 to 9 p.m Greek style, mm. they're offering salmon, pâtés. Sounds like I need to schedule veggies. a day off. <laughs> 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 so if you missed the Greek food festival, you would like to get on the Greek food, I would definitely suggest that you check that out. But that is all the time that we have today. Thank you so much for joining us. You're watching Limelight Live. Also, I have to mention you can check us out anytime on Facebook at facebook.com slash limelight TDO with two T's. And you can get your fill on any kind of weekend or week or week activities um and also on twitter so thanks again this is limelight live see ya